Hello and welcome to yet another NCVCV. Yes, they are an abundance this week. Again. Well, it's thanks to Bongo Tess, of course. But also Jaga's mom, because she made me realize that there are two Sir Vladimir's doors in that adventure bit that we had. This is the second one. Uh, I think, <laughs> I'm not totally sure, that it is um, dark green. The green wool. Uh, oh yeah, here we have the test for command. We test. I have changed the um, coordinates and radius one. And if there is one, then this one sends a signal that will be boost. Tries to send a signal through this one. Can't do because it's a glass one. Uh, sends a power through this one to tell us that the door is locked in English. Probably the Queen's English. Now if however there is a player that wants to check or in this case clear the command of 35 is wool we know that and 13 I think 13 is the green wool. Wait a minute didn't we have oh yeah here it is yeah there it is 35 slash 13 so if you have a green wool it will clear it and when it clear it it sends a signal boosted uh, to this block that updates this block pushes these two makes it thereby impossible to tell us that the door is locked or instead you use the key now isn't that nice I must say Thanks, Vladimir, and thanks, Bongo, because suddenly I can, I can look at this and understand. Uh, I was. It is, however, when when you know what it says, it's it's not that hard. I think. Let's try it out then. Let's do that. Now he's got a radius of one. Oh, the door is locked. Oh dear. Oh dear. I need a key. Now let's see it. Oh, this is why I suddenly I realized there was a button on the inside of this room. I knew it was somewhere. Let's take a green wool. It's the only one. Don't need more. Now that I have a green wool. May I use that to open the door? Clear the inventory of Felonius, removing one item. The door is locked. No, you used the key. And it's open and because of that piston <laughs> torch hanging in me there well you all know that that's that's MC edit now you can see he has been updated because he cleared my on on power power now the, if I go there again it will still test for right and as you can hear that one retracted because he couldn't clear anything but nothing happened because power is on into the door uh, the door block or actually the block be uh, besides the door so nothing else can happen now so this is the, the working version the one that I had uh, the other place probably I have removed some stuff uh, there wasn't anything inside this one, for instance. And so Vladimir is using the glass block in order to prevent uh, any extra messages. And when he removes a block, he can't tell us that the door is locked anymore. Now everyone says, what, what did Bongo say? What did Bongo do? Yep, he did something similar, I must say. Now, his spread it out, in my case it really doesn't matter because I'm going to have all my redstone below each, uh, each setting. So I can put the door on top of all this and it doesn't really matter. Now let's see if I can explain it the way Bongo did. <laughs> Here we have the clock. Uh, we are still using that whoop whoop hopper and you know that you have to connect them underneath so they are giving each other. And that means that it's testing, and it's testing if there are a player within radius 3, uh, Bongo said. 
and I've tested radius 1 and actually it takes some while. Hello news, the door is locked. Oh dear, the door is locked. I need a key. Now what he does is that he sends that signal with a delay, I'll get back to that later on, down here and tells so this block mm, the door is locked and that's all that's happening because at the same time he's doing this clear command of Minecraft wool 9 cyan wool and this is one of the reasons I wanted to do all this because if we are going to update the adventurers we need to uh, take away all 35 and uh, exchange it with Minecraft colon wool and every place we have used um, numbers we have to take it uh, with, with this one instead because that is the new thing from 1.8 uh, Bongo believes it won't work about from 1.8 I think I can surely say it won't up to 1.7.10 and then it's gone so he can't do that and because he can't do that he cannot send a signal to this block who's telling oh the door is unlocked and to this piston now this piston is going to shove a block over this uh, lit torch redstone torch which means that this block is going to get power and when it gets power it powers over here and closes this one I'm going to show you that that's what's something new and this is wh why I'm doing these in CVCVs and then he shows he shoves a uh, um, redstone over there and he should open the door and because of yes I know the door is locked <laughs> thank you very much that's the problem with range of three because this block is going to be standing still here uh, even if we are going closer again without anything all that's going to happen is that this will retract but the block will still stay there and both Vladimir and Bongo is using blocks that stay put keeping it on and that's the point okay let's see where did I put oh there let's take one I don't know how you did it uh, um, Bongo you just pointed at something and suddenly you had something in your now let's see if it works and it does flow news the door is unlocked and of course, we are not going to see clear the inventory of felonious removing wine items. We are not going to see that. We are taking that away with the um <laughs> command block output false command. Now, what did happen? He checked person. Yes, there's a person. Uh, he sends a signal. Can we clear? Yes, we can clear. Oh, yeah, we put that one on and everything goes well and with this block powered it's rather s sad we can't see it's red he suddenly shuts this one off because we don't want him to tell us that the door is locked when it's not so even if you put power on this one it will not go through there so this is what Bongo uses instead of glass that double thing uh, Vladimir did it's the same thing there are two things, two ways to do this. That that I like. So if I now go back out from the door again, of course the piston will go back. It's still testing. It's still testing, but it can't remove, so it closes this circuit. Not telling anything. Not telling anything. But the block stays there, keeping the text none, and the door open that's exactly what I wanted so this is <laughs> Bongo's version I, I, I can't thank you enough I can't and if I can explain it <laughs> then I have understood it and because I can explain this I could also explain Sir Vladimir's <sighs> luck oh dear, oh dear to be happy that is very very nice now we're going to do something else. I want to. I want. I want to ch to show uh, uh, Mr. Bongo how we idiots think when we are approaching redstone um, problems. 
perhaps you are following uh, Ars Malek's series, uh, The Color Infi of Infinity. I really hope so. And he had to make a prototype where he had to check if a person is giving uh, the right thing to the um, NPC. And he said, I'm not quoting him perfectly, if he had had some command blocks it would have been very easy. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's say, this is the situation. I want to check if a person is giving um, away one thing, an unstackable thing, uh, you can't stack it. In my case you see that I have a, a fishing rod down there, I want to give away my fishing rod. Now, of course I can do this, can I? It's easy, Ron said so. Now my thinking was that there must be some sort of, I don't know, oops, <laughs> of um, command for this. And there seems to be um, so they are going to put it in a hopper and it's going to go down and well get out of their way so to speak now according to the Minecraft wiki which is very 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 tough to read most of the time you can use something called test for block written together, test for block. So I'll try to read that and yeah it seems to be working fine. Now we need to test this and I got, well at least I got some, something out of the, all this we have done so far. If something is passing through a hopper it's going to emit one power signal and <laughs> yeah <laughs> there it is I'm testing oops there it is I'm testing if something is going through oops not that one something is going through and then I boost the signal because I want to have a signal going out on the other side um, and well I can boost the signal again it really doesn't matter I don't need to but because I only want one more now what I wanted to do is, if I put this one, oh, sorry, let's let's do something that we all know. Say hello. <laughs> so, if something is going through there, lands there, it's going to uh, start that one to say hello. So let's put this one in, and hello, it said hello, and as you can see, it also transmitted that one. That's good. So that is working. Oops. Are you still on? Strange. Okay. Didn't know that. We learn every day. Now something has passed through and it was my fishing rod. Good. Now, we know that this works and it seems simple enough, doesn't it? And I'm using this, instead of having a clock, I'm using this. When something is put, this is going to test. Now, according to Minecraft Wiki, we are going to test for block, not test for blocks, that's 1.8 test for block and then we are going to probably test um, well let's say x something it is this one so let's see what it is it's 289 68, 67 is it? Let's see, 289, <laughs> 67, 67, and 447. 
that one. That should be easy enough. Okay, x equals 289. Um, oops. y equals 67. z equals 447. Now, according to what I could read, there should be no various uh, r uh, radius. And then, <laughs> what am I going to do? Well, now I need a tile name. Do you know there's nowhere, nowhere on the Minecraft wiki any explanation of what is a tile name? I must say, I ah, oops, should be large C, shouldn't it? Uh, let's check. Yes, chest with a large C. Now, before we put number four, 54, now we are not. Okay. And that's how far I can get. I don't understand all those data values or data tags or, or whatever. But according to what I could read, I must tell them slot, ID, damage, count, I don't understand. <laughs> Must I? And w what values are they? Well, slot I can understand. But how do I do it? I don't. There's no explanation, there's nothing. And that's one of the major issues with a Wikipedia. Now, of course, I can just go out on the internet and on the YouTube and go test for block and search and search. Or I can ask Bongo. <laughs> well, if you don't want to, Bongo, I can still go back on the YouTube and try to find this. But am I anywhere near correct way? I don't know. Now, here we are going to do um, set state. Uh, um, oh, something with um, a dummy. We're going to set a dummy. So, I suppose if there are like a fishing rod in the first slot, and the first slot is zero, I know that, <laughs> then this should be the ID 346 in this case. But then I don't know. And how do I write it? I don't know. There is no explanation. And it seems like everyone else knows this perfectly. CPM 4001. You, you, you can understand what I mean. You can get this far and then you get nowhere. And there's nowhere you can find the rest of it. You understand this far. That's good. Right. But that's it. So you just junk this. That was a good idea and perhaps it's going to work, but no. Now, I am a lucky person. I am having Bongo test as my friend and perhaps he can resolve this but this is how far you get when you're not knowing what you're doing and this is why I will want to do these NCVCVs because I want to show you as many as possible including myself because I'm going to get back to these ones how did I do those and I'm going to save all these stuff uh, that's working because I need to go back here and see how did we do that if I'm going to do this coded door, or that one, it really doesn't matter because I've got plenty of space. I need to have these ones as some sort of configuration. As well as I have all these ones over here. These blocks are very important. I'll remove that because that's not going to happen, so <laughs> it's, it's useless. Yeah, well, a very interesting thing, this redstone if you're not able to understand it. And the big guys, like Jigarbov and the, all those guys, you can't ask them, because they can't explain and they won't do it either. Because that is the power of the community. They are keeping together as the elite force that they are. They are not going to tell you. All they're going to tell you, oh, it's easy. And that's it. How friendly. Right, well, that's it for this and I'm so sorry if my fan on my computer is acting up and noisy as hell 
but that's because it's too darn hot to do anything in Minecraft um, in Sweden at the moment. <laughs> Europe, I heard. But tomorrow, um, I hope, really hope that's going to be a bit uh, down on the heat because I want to play Morrowind. <laughs> I haven't been able to do this all the weekend. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.